Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see why is it did they ghost you, okay? So we'll go ahead and see what's the reason behind their disappearing act. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, for a lot of you, I feel like you're really shocked at the this your person here uh, just disappearing and ghosting you like that um, because you felt that, you know, the two of you were really getting on or you felt like things felt different with this person, like you had a very special connection with one another. Um, with regards to your person's energy here, it does feel like what's happened here is they may have uh, got frightened here. Things may have been getting a little bit serious between the two of you. Um, or perhaps even if it was still early days in the connection, your person felt like they were starting to really care about you, perhaps even catch romantic feelings for you. Um, and maybe they've even felt things they've never felt with anyone else before. That scared them. That's what might have caused them to pull away and disappear abruptly. Them pulling away and them disappearing uh, so very quickly has definitely left a lot of questions unanswered for you because this is someone who may have cut off the relationship or cut off the connection abruptly, ceasing all contact here and communication with you. Um, or for some of you, maybe it is something that's happened over time. However, this person has made, um, it feels like a quick or a sudden exit from the relationship leaving you uh, haunted by questions like what went wrong maybe what you said um, you felt like maybe it's something you said or something you've done here see i think like your person he has been if what I'm getting up, what I'm picking up in their energy is they've experienced being ghosted in the past, okay? They have experienced being ghosted by romantic partners or even not even romantic partners. Um, but it feels like there is a sense of abandonment in an energy, in their energy. And uh, being abandoned can lead to all sorts of negative feelings like low self-worth, depression, anxiety, um, low self-esteem. It can even be self-blame. So, you know, when someone walks away um, from out of your life with really no explanation whatsoever, it leaves the person behind. Uh, it leaves them haunted with a lot of questions, okay? It leaves this person trying to figure out and put the pieces together, what went wrong. You know, they're really trying to learn from the experience, but it can have a lot of mental health issues that can impact the individual and it feels like your person here has um they've done that because they maybe i do feel like there is an insecurity in them or like an energy of maybe it's an anxiety as well this person was scared that you might have left them okay somewhere down the line even though things were going great between the two of you even though this person did or maybe even still feels like you're somewhat special it feels like they were scared um to sort of explore, okay, to really fully open themselves up to this connection and explore the, this connection further because they were scared that in the end, you would be the one to leave them. In the end, you would be the one to pull away. It's because they have had that happen in life and it's something that I don't think that they've ever really dealt with. And because they've never really got the opportunity for proper closure, it's impacted their, it's impacted their, um, mental health and their self-esteem as well like they started questioning 
their worth or their level of attractiveness as well. Um, and of course, because they too have been abandoned, it could ha it could stem from the childhood environment in which they grew up in. Okay, maybe their uh, both parental figures weren't necessarily present, or um, it wasn't uh, it wasn't very stable. There wasn't a lot of stability growing up, and they may have suffered abandonment also in previous relationships, and it may have been constantly throughout their life. And basically what's that what that has led to is an increased feelings of mistrust in current and future relationships I think because a lot of the time when people ghost it's because they want to avoid confrontations and they want to avoid hurting the ghosties feelings um, but I think in a way, because, you know, it's they wanted to avoid having that negative interaction. But it wasn't so much about you. It was about their fears of opening up. It was about their um, them fearing that you're going to leave them or you're going to pull the plug from this relationship. Um, and they, they were scared that maybe one day you would also lose interest in this person. Again, it's something that they haven't. Uh, it can be hard for you to understand, especially if you've not experienced this. But with your person, it's something that they've been really um, hurt by in the past, okay? People who have rejected them or abandoned them. And it's a hurt that I feel like that they haven't dealt with. And as a result, this person is only, you know, playing out behavior that they're so very used to. And also, you know, they ghosted you not only because they also wanted to avoid having this conversation or confrontation, if you will, but also it feels like they wanted to avoid their feelings, to be honest with you. And as selfish as it sounds, they were putting their own emotional needs ahead of yours. Um, here's the thing. I do see this person coming back into your life. But be warned, because it's likely that they may do it again. So as long as they don't fix the pain okay, and the issues of abandonment and rejection, which they still carry around, they're going to do that. So it, your ghost here is likely to come back with you, to come back to you here. And it's likely that they could come back to you in a way that... They'll sort of chalk it up to something else. They won't admit to you that it's because they, you know, got scared or anxious or um, things were starting to get serious and they just didn't know, um, you know, how to respond to the, to the situation emotionally. It's likely that the, your ghost team may come back. And in a way, I see an emotional mature, an emotional um, immaturity in their energy. So it's likely that they will come back here, not taking any personal accountability for what they did, because they don't want to confront. Because if they have to confront that they've ghosted you, you know, they also have to confront their feelings behind and their motivation, and you know, their intent, their intention behind why they did what they did. And people who ghost. Typically, they are people who, it, it allows for an avoidance, okay? And this is someone who already avoids dealing with some pain of abandonment and rejection that they carry. So they're going to avoid explaining themselves. Let me tell you that. But it's if you do want to pursue something with this person, it's just important that you pull them up, okay? An avoidance of explanation or self um, introspection is not healthy for the connection it's not healthy for them as well so try and be um, try and hold them accountable okay for what they've uh, for what they've done here because I think it was more to protect their feelings than protect yours and it does feel a little bit selfish doesn't it because it was more about them being scared or them being uh, frightened of their emotions and you know just how successful this connection um, could be it was more about that rather than anything else it was them being scared of le you leaving it was them being scared of you you know losing interest so it was for selfish needs um, okay guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please uh, show your support by subscribing um, and liking um, 
or even commenting or sharing. Thank you guys so much. Bye for now.